Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. Today we're going to talk about, oh, by the way, I have this, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little two here. My, I, my brother gave me this hat. Um, that's two. Because <laughs> it's a repeat of what happened with Jesus. I'm nothing without Jesus. Nothing. Not stealing Jesus' glory or anything like that. I'm the echo of Jesus who failed in your place. I, yeah, I took on the sins of the body of Christ as a type to prove Jesus is the best and the only cure. That's what all prophets do. You want to hate me? Keep hating me. I don't care. Two. The second David, New King David, Moses the second, Israel the second, Elijah the second. The spiritual second coming is Jesus returning in me. You want to hate that and get weird? Go ahead. It's okay. I don't care. I mean, I do. I don't like it. But this is this is what I signed up for. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to talk about the lake of fire, the Bible te and annihilationism. Annihilationism. The true teaching of the Bible. Okay, this whole, I think it's Jehovah's Witnesses that teaches soul sleep. Garbage. We know the Bible teaches a thousand years of hell. A thousand years is one day, one day is a thousand years old. Is as a thousand years. This is the third day since Jesus. The Bible says there's an angel that's going <laughs> to lock up Satan and throw him to a pit for a thousand years. He has the key to the bottomless pit. See, I have it. I trademarked the mark of the beast. I am that angel. I don't care if you like it. I don't like that you don't like it. This is all super good to a trillion. But if you can't receive it, mock away. Just go away from me. So a thousand years, Satan is in hell. And while I'm at it, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Satan, Cain, and Eve are crucified to a big, giant, petrified turd cross for what they did to Jesus. Paybacks are a bitch! And so is the Trinity. So, but they get to supervise all the people making gold in hell. Now, we know that they're burning up because the parable in the Bible of Lazarus and the rich man says that well, Lazarus didn't have it too good. <laughs> That's me. But he gets a great forever. Rich man, he had a good thing. Now, there's nothing wrong with being rich per se, but it says he's like, oh, I'm just hurting so bad. If I could just have a little, a drop full of water. Yeah. It's horrible. I don't want anybody on planet Earth to go to hell. Anybody. Unless you're just not going to be a good receiver, which is two-thirds of the people. 66.6% .6 of the people are going to hell. I believe it's in Zechariah. It says two-thirds cut off, one-third brought to the fire. One-third, that's the 144,000 tiny bit, and then the multitude, one-third of the world that will hear me in the second half of the Great Tribulation. They get into the kingdom of heaven. So, what happens at the end of a thousand years is uh, Satan, Cain, and Eve, all of the wicked ones, now we're all wicked without Jesus, but the ones who don't repent, who don't own it, who don't seek the truth, who don't receive my authority from Jesus, you don't go through me to get to Jesus, but if you reject me, you don't know Jesus, and that's most Christians, sadly. So, the Bible says in Ezekiel, oh gosh, I think it's 29, look it up, it says, ye shall be no more. Now, the Bible also says, the worm turneth not, and the fire is not quenched. That's because if you were to, let's say, burn a potato, the potato's burned, it turns to ash. Well, when you keep on burning a pile of ashes, it stays dead. It doesn't have a living death, it's a living death for a thousand years in hell. The lake of fire uh, is... True biblical annihilationism, it is forever. And it also says, but they'll be tormented, the angels, forever and ever and ever. That is correct. Chronos time is destroyed. That means the shadow verse of the matrix, Satan, Cain, and Eve, the mind control made up false perception. Perception is not reality. Reality is God's imagination. Perception is matrix of the, the shadow verse, the lie that we're told our whole lives. So, eternal suffering is imploded in on itself like a black hole. Like, you ever seen that little Pac-Man game? And they go like, and that's, so imagine eternal suffering closing in on hell, Satan, Cain, and Eve, two-thirds of all the people that ever lived, eternity is imploded, and we're so, all clean, all clear for the eternal happiness after the thousand-year reign of Jesus over me, the man-child. Uh, in, in the eternity, which would be the eighth day, since it's the seventh day from Adam would be the millennial reign, which would be the third day, thousand year from Jesus. In the eternity, we don't need anybody to govern anything because everybody will have their bodies and souls resurrected. So annihilationism is a thousand years of very conscious, indescribable suffering. Folks, if I could just have my head chopped off in public right now, and I knew everybody was going to get into the kingdom of heaven, I'd do it. It would be the easiest way to spend your life. And let me give you a little tip. I was on the show uh, Wheel of Fortune as a kid. Pat Sajak, Vanna White, a teenager, okay? 
They had a guy in there named Gary, uh, a contestant coordinator. And he said, look, folks, he's like, this is me kind of sprucing up. He's like, it ain't Jeopardy. Okay, this is me. But he's like, this isn't difficult. Okay, this is not really a difficult game. It's fun. That's why we're so successful. He's like, look, buy vowels. It's 250 bucks. Keep the game going. You're ma Nobody else is making money. If you're buying vowels, it'll help you. Two, use your free spin. Most people don't use their life of a free spin. They don't ever put themselves out there, take any chances. Use your free spin. Use your life to love the truth. That's the seal of God. Truth plus love equals life. Use your life to love the truth. When the, when the disciples came to Jesus and he took the Ten Commandments and he boiled it all down to two. You want to treat your neighbor as yourself, man to man, logical, ethical, love the Lord God with all your heart, man to God, spiritual, moral. Now, I'm going to boil it down even more simple. What's the great teachings of Jesus? Use your life to love the truth. Jesus said, John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. This is truth plus love equals life. True biblical annihilationism. True biblical annihilation, annihilationism. All wicked is employed on itself like eternity. And ye shall be no more. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life.